Hey guys, welcome back. Hopefully everybody's doing fine. I wanted to talk about something that's really, really important. If you've got a boat that you keep at a marina, um, you want to make sure that you don't have electrolysis traveling through the water and doing damage to your boat. Whether your boat is a fiberglass boat, whether it's a steel boat or an aluminum boat like myself, you want to make sure that your boat is protected at all times. That way that you're safe and you're not doing damage to your boat because listen when your boat's pretty big you're not going to be pulling this boat in and out of the water very much okay if it's a smaller boat you're going to be pulling it in on a trailer and checking the anodes on it and you're going to make sure that everything is good to go but i'll give you an example there's a couple just down about 15 boats for mine and they had about thirty-three thousand dollars worth of work done in their boat why because their boat was not protected there was electricity in the water. It was going to their boat because their anodes had been used up and it completely destroyed both their lower units. So it was a very, very expensive job. And that's why I'm bringing you along because I'm gonna show you what I've done to protect my boat. So let's check this out. Okay, so this is what I've got right here. I've got just a clamp that attaches to my boat right there. That's it, right? You're like, what the heck is that? Well, let me show you. On the bottom of this, I've got it tied on the actual dock side itself. And then right down here in the water, it's not a fishing line. <laughs> it is, let me get it to focus here. It's not gonna focus. All right, let me show you this. Lay it up here so you can see it. It's got a little bit of algae on it. But what the heck is this? This right here? is an anode and uh, a lot of people refer to them as a zinc or something what this is it's an anode or zinc a lot of people call them two different things but what it does this is magnesium this is a two pound chunk of magnesium with a stainless steel bolt that goes through the metal all the way through the middle to the outside and what this does is is if another boat has failed to take care of their zincs on their boat guess what that electricity is going to flow from their boat over to your boat it's going to go to the nearest boat possible and then it's going to start tearing up your zincs on your boat right and if you don't pull your boat and check your zincs then yours are going to be ate up prematurely all this is is just an add-on that's all it is i bought this just to make sure that i've got extra protection and I don't have to worry about somebody else's lack of maintenance destroying my boat because my zincs are good on my boat. I did check them before. Um, we bought it last July, so it's not even a year old since I've seen them. But adding this on is a piece of cake. So I highly recommend you getting just an add-on protection. And where did I get this from? Well, I got it from, I got it from BoatZinks.com. Um, I actually found out about them through the, um, the Facebook page of Marinette Boats. And uh, so I called him up, really great guy there. And uh, I just told him, I said, hey, I've got a Marinette, it's aluminum hole. What do I need? It's in fresh water. He said, magnesium, that's what you need. So that's what I got, two pound chunk of magnesium. And it ensures that my boat's protected and it's not going to destroy anything on my boat which is fantastic now if you're in some brackish water you're not going to need magnesium okay if you're in complete salt water you're going to need something else so my suggestion to you is just call them up tell them what you got tell them what kind of water that you're in and they will fix you up and then guess what no matter what your boat is protected from any stray electrical current running through the water so you're good you're and your boat's gonna be safe and you don't have to worry about somebody else's lack of maintenance on their boat so anyhow hope this helps out somebody keep your boat protected at all times and then that way you're safe and save yourself a whole lot of money in the long run unlike that couple that was just down a few boats for me 33 grand that's a lot of money so hope that explains it and also if you do own a marinette boat let me go show you this hang tight all right guys so listen my boat is has a KPAC system already on it. It's a monitor to make sure that your boat is safe in the water 
and you're not pulling too many, um, too much electrical current from stray boats, okay? So this one here, as you can see, if it's a bronze material, the readings is 0.55 to 0.75. If it's steel, 0.80 to 0.95. And then if it's aluminum, 0.90 to 1.05. Okay. Now, let me show you this. All I'm going to do is energize this. All right. So what does that mean? My boat is protected 100%. Okay. Now, there is an adjustment here that you can actually calibrate this. I haven't done it yet. Um, I read somewhere that you can take a multimeter and touch the prongs on the back side of this on the milliamp side and whatever that reads on the meter, then you can adjust this screw to get your correct reading. So I got to do that update. Haven't done it yet. Once I do, I'll take you through that process and hopefully get you a little bit better understanding. This is new to me. Um, so I'm learning as I go. So one thing is, is before I added that magnesium, okay, it was pushing right at seven and a half right here, seven and a half to eight. Now, how accurate is that? I don't know. Only hooking up a meter to it and then comparing the two is going to give me exactly, hopefully, what it is. Now, BoatSinks.com, they also have a meter that you can actually buy. I think it's like 150 bucks or something like that. You can put on your uh, multimeter and it'll do the same thing as what this here does. Okay, so that's another option for you. But I'm going to do a little bit more research, try to calibrate this myself, see what happens. But at the same time, it is doing just fine. So we're safe. My boat's safe, and we are good to go. So, so anyhow, guys, thanks for coming along, and uh, we'll see you soon with a lot more boat projects. And uh, appreciate you guys tuning in to my channel. I don't know a whole lot. I'm just kind of learning and going through this, and I hope that what I'm learning and the mistakes that I make may help you do your boat a little bit better than what I am. So, <laughs> anyhow, God bless you guys. And we'll see you soon. Bye.